Hello everyone, welcome to Unhoud channel, the place where every day you learn something new. Today we'll be showing you how to completely uninstall Facebook application from your Samsung phone. So if you are a Samsung phone user and you did notice that you cannot uninstall Facebook application, well, you are right. Samsung made a deal with Facebook to make their phones have pre-installed and unremovable Facebook application. And they did not disclose this at first, but after customers has been complaining that they can't remove Facebook application, then they disclose this and that's not really a good move from Samsung right and after a lot of people start complaining and they threaten to sue Samsung a Samsung representative did tweet that disabling the application will stop them from working but I don't believe that and I think you are too but no worries in this video I will show you how to completely uninstall the Facebook applications and get rid of them and yes not application applications because they are multiple Facebook applications on your phone but they are hidden and I will show them to you in a moment but first I want to tell you that you will need a laptop to do this and no worries you don't have to install any software or any applications on both your laptop and your phone the only thing you will need is Google Chrome browser and an internet connection and USB cable and also so it's not something complicated to do it's really easy and you will be amazed how simple it is to do so so as I said first let me show you the hidden Facebook applications on your phone so the first thing you're going to do is access the settings on your phone and scroll down and access the app section and after all the applications are loaded into the list tap on the three dots at the top right corner and tap on show system apps option right here and after that tap on the search icon at the top right corner close to the three dots and search for Facebook and and as you can see there is not only the main Facebook application there is also Facebook app installer and Facebook app manager and Facebook services and as you can see I have them all disabled but I want to uninstall them completely from my phone so we will do the trick and uninstall them successfully and get back to the settings and search for Facebook and see if these applications will show up right here or not and I guarantee to you none of this Facebook application will exist no more after we do the trick so let's get you how to do that the first thing you're going to do is enable the developer options on your phone by just accessing the settings and scroll all the way down to about phone and tap on it and tap on software information and tap on the build number seven times and it will show you a message that you have enabled the developer option on your phone and after that get back to the settings page and below about phone you will see a new option called developer options tap on it and scroll all the way down until you see USB debugging and enable the option I already have it enabled so I'm good to go so right now open up your laptop and it doesn't matter what you use Mac or Windows or whatever it works on both of them and access Google Chrome and open up a new tab and type in Chrome two dots two slashes flags just like you see on the screen right now and I will also put this in the description box and after that it will take you to this page and you will see a search bar at the top of the screen tap on the search bar and search for USB and this option will show up called enable and USB backend and you will see a default button right here click on it and pick enable it and you will see a message at the bottom screen it says the changes will take effect after the relaunch and there is a blue button says relaunch so just click on it and Google Chrome browser will be restarted and plug in your USB cable into your laptop and also into your phone and you will see this message on your phone it says allow access to phone data and click on allow and if your laptop did open up the file manager for your phone make sure to close it after that access google.com on the browser and search for web adb and you will see this website called webadb.com and i will also put the link for it in the description box just scroll down the description and you will see the link for the website there and after you did access the website click on star button right here and it will take you to this page and you will see a blue button here says add device click on it and you will see this prompt from google chrome browser with your device on it select your phone and click on connect button and after that click again on the blue button that says connect below your available devices option and after you did click on connect button you should see a message on your phone says allow computer debugging and there is a rsi key 
fingerprint there and click on allow ok and give it a moment so the web idb software will be connected to the phone and by the way this is completely safe web idb software is an open source project on github and it has a really big community there and after your phone is successfully connected access the interactive shell tab right here and you will see this block terminal on the screen but no worries i already have all the commands ready for you just to copy and paste them here and here the other commands so just scroll down the description and you will see the link for the commands there click on it and it will take you to this page or i will also put the commands in the description if you want to copy them from there so the first one to uninstall the main facebook application so just select the first command and right click on it and copy it and get back to the web adb website and paste it in the terminal and hit enter and if you saw this success message right here that means you have successfully uninstalled the main facebook application so let's just get back to copy the other command to remove the other facebook applications and paste it again on the terminal and here we go success and the next one is the app manager for facebook and also the facebook services and here we are we are done as you can see they are all been successfully uninstalled from my phone so right now let's just get back to my phone and check if the facebook applications are still there or not by just accessing the settings again and scrolling down to the apps section and we need to make sure to enable the show system apps option from here and now let's just tap on the search bar and search for facebook and as you can see none of those applications that did it show up earlier are exist no more because we did successfully uninstall them from our samsung phone without samsung permission they didn't take our permission to make facebook pre-installed on our phone right why should we so that's how you completely uninstall facebook applications from your samsung phone and get rid of them forever and please if this video helped you out make sure to hit that like button and leave me a nice comment i would really appreciate it and it's also completely free and as i said i will put all the information and the links that i did use in the description box otherwise i think my job is done make sure to check out my channel if you want to learn new tricks each day and expand your knowledge i daily post videos on how to do stuff now so if you are interested make sure to join the family and thanks for watching and see you on next one